Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to use formulas in Word. Now, obviously, when we've used Excel before, we can do lots of different calculations, which are really useful. But sometimes we just want to do simple calculations. Let's say, for example, if you are adding up an invoice or a table or just wanting to get some details from some accountancy you've been doing. So I'm going to show you how to add up these columns and rows and also some other sums you can do as well. So as you can see, I've got a total here, a total here, and a total down here. And that's just to show you how you can have a total at the beginning of your row, at the end of your row, and at the bottom of your columns. Now let's start at the end here. If I click in the cell here, go up to Layout, and go along to Formula. Now automatically, this dialog box will appear. And Word has understood that you probably want to add up everything to the left of this cell. So all of the numbers, let's just move this out of the way. So all of the numbers here you want to add up. And if that's the case, then you can just simply go ahead and click OK. And then Word has added up all those for you. If I just take this out and go over to the left hand side, if I go up to Layout again and go along to Formula, you'll see that Word's not quite sure. So we can go down to this Paste function here, click on the drop down, and go down to Sum, and then you can see it gives us these brackets here. If I type the word in right, because I want to add up everything to the right, and click OK, you can see that now Word understands what I want to do and has added up all the numbers to the right. In addition, when you come to your columns, if you select a cell at the bottom of your column, go back up to Formula, and you can see once again, Word has interpreted your table and believes that you want to add up everything above. If that's the case, then just go ahead and click OK. Now, if you have a situation like we did up here, where we clicked on formula and it wasn't in there for us and we have to manually put it in. In order to do the rest of the columns without having to retype everything, just simply highlight it, click Command or Control C on your keyboard which will copy it, click OK and when you click on the table again, go to formula and all you have to do is paste and that formula will come up again. Now, if it's not a sum that you want to do, then you have other options. Again, click at the bottom or to the side, whichever line or column of figures you want to deal with. Go back up to Formula, and then go down to this Paste function here. Click on the drop-down, and you can select from any of these options here. So let's say we wanted Average. Click on Average. Now what you will find is that Word will put that average after the sum. Now if you press enter now, this won't work. So what you actually need to do is to get rid of all of this, then go down to average, then type in above, and then click OK. Now again, if you want to do that to the subsequent columns, get rid of this, type equals, go down to average, type in above, and as we did before, highlight everything, Command or Control C to copy it, click OK, go along to the next column, formula, Command or Control V, and it will automatically paste, click OK, along to the next column, paste, click OK. And that's the easiest way to place that formula in all of those different cells. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.